All right, welcome. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Come on in, get comfy, have your supplies ready. We'll get started pretty soon. Welcome, welcome. Hi, everyone. Um, hi. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Ileana and I'm a librarian at the San Francisco Public Library in California on the unceded land of the Ramatush Ohlone peoples. Wherever you're tuning in from, we're very happy to have you with us today. Um, thanks for joining us and welcome to our Viva Craft series for youth with Alejandra Ramirez. Um, every Friday at 3 p.m. from today to October 16th, we'll be sharing a special craft time with you um, that focuses for, on youth. While you gather your supplies, I do have a couple of reminders and tips. We hope today's program will be as interactive and as engaging as a virtual craft program can be. Um, I'm gonna ask grownups in the room to please take a moment and rename your Zoom window to the child or children's names that are tuning in today. This will allow our presenter to see the windows and call out to the youth participating in the program. Also, uh, we ask for you to mute yourselves unless called on and use the raise hand function, or you can wave a hand um, if you have a question. Uh, feel free to utilize the chat to ask our SFPL staff questions directly. If you wanna be able um, to see most definitely the craft camera and Alejandro's camera, um, use the pin function to highlight both of those windows. Um, and there's a little icon here of um, where you could find that. Make sure you pin Alejandra G. Ramirez Craft Station. There's two windows. We are going to record today's session. So if you prefer not to be on camera, please turn off your video by clicking stop video. You'll know it's stop when there's a red bar in front of it. Before we begin, a huge thanks to the Friends of the San Francisco Public Library for their generous support of this special series. We could not do it without them. Um, and I'm going to introduce Alejandra really quickly. Alejandra Ramirez is a Salinas and Bay Area artist, museum educator, and co-director of the Marigold Project. You can follow her work on Instagram um, right there at, the, at her handle or at www.dayofthedeadsf.org. A little bit about the Marigold Project. Um, it serves the community by creating healing spaces connecting us to our ancestors and our impermanence in one spirit. Um, today's craft, we're going to celebrate the queen of Tejano music, Selena Quintanilla, and make what I'm calling a maracophone. Um, so Alejandra, you can definitely take it away. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Alejandra, thank you so much for having me. So nice to meet everyone. Uh, yeah, okay, definitely, you know, I encourage you all to have your cameras on if possible. I wanna make sure that I'm able to support you through every step today. As Ileana said, we're gonna say, we're gonna make today a maraca mic, okay? All right, so I have, let me see, I can see Mariana, I can see Aliyah, um, I can see from Hugo's screen. Okay, hi everyone, welcome. We're gonna be sharing a link to um, basically an art activity summary. And definitely, I definitely encourage you to go ahead and read it and talk about it amongst yourselves. Today, we're basically going to be jumping in right into the activity. Um, just because it's a few steps. And again, I want to make sure to be able to support you and answer questions as we go. All right. So are we ready? All right. So you feel more than welcome to use your emoji reactions or through the screen, send me a thumbs up. Okay. Whenever you have a question, also please type it up in the chat section. Okay. I see people are ready. Valentina is ready. And Hugo. Okay, so today the material we are going to need are <laughs> a paper towel roll. Does everyone have a paper towel roll? You might have a smaller one and that's totally okay. 
All right, paper towel roll. Then we're going to need two pieces of purple paper. If you don't have purple paper, if you don't, that's totally okay. All right, but these colors will be what cover your paper roll. All right, the next thing is a one red paper. Again, if you don't have this color, that's totally okay. But the red is actually going to be for the flowers that we're going to use to decorate our maraca today. All right. Then we have one piece of black paper, one piece of foil. Does everyone have a foil? Awesome. And five sheets of paper towels. Okay. You might have newspaper or just other paper. Good job, Mariana, thank you. All right, um, and basically this will be what makes our microphone ball, all right? We're gonna put everything to the side except one piece of purple paper. We're gonna place it right on our flat surface, our table. Okay. And send me a thumbs up when you're ready. Perfect, perfect, thank you. We're gonna go ahead and grab our paper roll. And the first step we're gonna do is create, you see how the paper roll has holes on both sides, right? If we want to fill it, it have a filling inside to make a sound, right? We need to make sure that both sides are covered. Right now we're going to cover the bottom side. So choose the bottom side and you are gonna place it, stand it up right on your purple paper. Okay, so right, right like that. We're gonna grab our pencil or pen, whichever you have with you. And we are going to outline the roll on your purple paper. We're gonna trace around it and it's going to make a circle. Okay. So you're going to trace the paper roll on your purple paper. All right. Now we're gonna put the roll on the side. We have our circle. We're going to create a larger circle around it, okay? And we want the space between the two circles to be around uh, at least your pinky finger width, okay? So I have my paper here. And I'm going to create a larger circle. Okay. Thumbs up when you're done. Okay, so it's okay if the circles aren't perfect. It's okay, we're perfect, thank you. All right, we got it. Now we're going to be creating tabs. So the tabs are gonna help us connect the base to our roll to make sure that it's glued properly and all the filling doesn't come out, okay? So to create tabs between the two circles, you're going to create lines, straight lines. One, two, three, four. Okay, does everyone have four lines? Got it, perfect. Then we're going to create four more lines in between those four parts. Just like this, perfect. Awesome, Freya, awesome, thank you. Okay, and now you can start cutting the Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Cut the big circle all around. As you're cutting, make sure you're moving your, you're rotating your paper. It's so much easier just moving the paper around instead of the scissors. All right, so you're gonna be having a circle with another smaller circle inside and lines. As soon as that is done, actually, I think I'll wait for a second. Okay. Give me a thumbs up as soon as you have cut your circle out. Awesome, awesome, thank you. Okay. As soon as you have your circle done, you will cut these lines, right? We're not gonna cut inside the smaller circle. We're just gonna cut the lines we drew in the last step. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And when you've cut the eight lines, okay, give me a thumbs up. Awesome, Mariana. Yeah, so you, right now we're just cutting, after we've cut the big circle, we're cutting the little lines, right? And that's gonna help us create tabs. Once you've cut out the tabs, we're gonna start folding each little tab forward. Okay, so the folding line will, will be right the, where the small circle is. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. You see how I'm gonna have a bunch of little tabs and it's gonna look like a little flower? Awesome, Christina, thank you. All right, the next step is actually gonna be taping this to your paper roll, okay? So it's gonna be going like this. Right, so remember how we popped, we folded all the tabs up and it looked like a little flower? We're gonna place it on the flat surface, right? Stand the paper roll on top of the circle we did with it before and tape one tab at a time. And usually it's easier as we're taping eight tabs, whichever tab you start with, the second one should be the tab across. This will help make sure that your base is not losing its spot. We, we want to make sure that it, like none of the cuts are right under the whole area in the paper roll. So I'm taking one tab. So, so far I've taped two tabs, okay, this is, this is how it's going to look. Okay. So again, tape one tab at a time. Awesome. You got it, Mariana? Uh, 
Awesome. Good job. Good job. And then when you have all your tabs taped down, you're going to grab some more tape and tape the tabs horizontally. Okay. We want to make sure that they're all really, really tight together. We want to make sure that as we're shaking our maraca, right, it's not going to, the filling is not going to be too heavy. And this is going to open, you know, and drop everything on your floor. Okay. It's going to look just like this. Does anyone have any questions so far? Okay. All right. Give me a thumbs up when you have taped your base completely to your roll. Okay. I think some of us are almost done. Okay, you got it? Awesome, good job, good job, thank you. That looks great. Awesome, Freya, that looks great, thank you. All right, we're just gonna be patient and wait a few more seconds for everyone. Awesome, Camilo, awesome. Camilo, make sure that you're taping down the tabs. Okay, make sure that the hole in the paper roll is really, really covered. Okay, let's see. Now we're gonna, while we wait for everyone to be done, we're gonna go on to the next step. We're gonna put our roll to the side for a bit. We can put our piece of purple paper to the side also. And we're gonna grab our five sheets of paper, of, uh, paper towels. Okay, so I have my one, two, three, four, and five paper towels. This part, if you remember, we're using these to create the microphone ball, okay? To create your microphone. So in this part, I like to start basically with one tissue paper and I'm just gonna ball it up. Okay, I'm just gonna make it into a little ball. And as we're making our, our microphone, make sure to not squish it to make it flat. Just make sure to shape it, mold, mold the microphone. Okay, so I'm adding one. I'm adding a second one. Okay, you see it, good job. Thank you, Christina. You see it, it's already getting bigger. I'm gonna add a third one. Add a third one, okay. Yeah, so go ahead and start making, when you have your tissue paper, uh, with your paper towels, start making the microphone ball, okay. And then you can grab your paper roll, right, and start seeing how the shape would be. Maybe you're happy with three paper towels, okay. I usually like doing five, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the last two paper towels I have. I'm gonna use the next one. And then I'm gonna use my last one. Okay, and I'm gonna wrap it all around. Now, when you have the, sh the size of the microphone that you want, make sure to hold to it carefully, grab some tape, and start taping down all the edges of the tissue paper you see around. Right? We want to make sure that if we have the ball on the table, it's not going to just open up. We want it to stay as a little ball. Okay, so start taping down 
the edges, you know, so it can, it can keep its sphere shape. Okay, so tape it, tape it down. And again, make sure that you're not squishing the ball. It has to be fluffy. Okay, tape it down, tape it down. Good job, like that. And then if you try and practice it here, look at how it would look. See, this is the size that I want. I like this size. Okay, so you can definitely add more. Okay. Don't worry if it feels too big. It's okay. In the next steps, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that it, it stays on the microphone, okay? Good job, Mariana. Thank you. All right. Thumbs up when you're done making your paper towel ball. Okay, good job. So remember when you've made your paper towel, ball, uh, paper towels ball, you wanna tape it so it stays as a little ball. Okay, make sure to tape it around so it can stay as a little ball. Okay, give me a thumbs up when you're done making your ball. Okay, I think we're just gonna wait a few more seconds and we're gonna go on to the next step. All right, the next step is going to be wrapping your microphone with the second piece of uh, purple paper that we have, right? And this will also help in making sure that the microphone will stick to the stick. All right, so we're gonna place your piece of paper like this tall vertically on your flat surface, right on your table in front of you. Okay, awesome, good job. And we're gonna place the roll right on top. Okay. So if you can see, I wanna make sure that the bottom face is um, closer to me. And I'm gonna line it up at, with the bottom of the second purple paper. Okay. Now you can see up here, right? You can see up here, there's gonna be some space above the paper roll area and that's totally great. We're gonna be using that to create tabs in the next step, all right? So we wanna make sure to not waste this, this extra paper that we'll have. Make sure that the bottom of your purple paper is aligned just perfectly with your paper roll. Okay, and we're gonna start rolling the paper a bit and start taping it. So roll it, and we're gonna start taping vertically. Okay, when it rolls back, it's okay. Let's see. One more time. All right. So it's gonna start looking like this, right? We're gonna cover it with the purple paper. Awesome. Roll it, roll it. Roll it 
try and roll it as tight as possible with the roll together. And then tape it. All right, so I have taped my roll. Okay, so this is the bottom of my microphone, right? I had already taped the base before, and now that I've added the actual full covering, right? It's all purple. And right at the top of the microphone, there's still a hole, and we're gonna, that's where we're gonna be adding the, the microphone ball. So give me a thumbs up as soon as you have finished taping your paper roll. Awesome, awesome. Good job, Mariana. Okay, let me see. Okay, I think we all almost got it. Awesome, okay. Now, this is the top of your mic, of your maraca mic, right? Where the hole is, that's the top. If you can see inside, right here, right there, <laughs> you can see that the paper roll doesn't make it all the way to the top like the purple paper, right? That's okay. We're actually gonna be using this extra purple paper to cut eight lines, the same way that we did earlier here, we're gonna be doing that here. We're gonna be cutting lines of the, uh, on the purple paper, and we're gonna make sure to not cut the actual paper roll. We're just gonna cut on top to create tabs, and we're gonna fold them back. All right, so I'm gonna show you, let me see this camera. So I have one, so you can see, I, I just cut one line and I'm not hitting the paper roll. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I've cut the lines right at the top and I'm gonna fold them back and it's gonna look like another flower. Okay, so you see now we can see right, we're right at the edge of the paper roll and then the tabs are on the side of it. Okay, you got it? Okay, so it's gonna look like a little flower, right? Good job, awesome. Christina, Susan, Freya, let us know through the chat if you're all caught up, if you have any questions. All right. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Christina. Okay, so we're gonna go on to the next step, okay? So we wanna close our mar maraca, but a mara something really important that, that a maraca has is a filling, all right? So we're not gonna forget that. This is where we're gonna grab our grains, okay? So you might have rice, you might have beans, lentils, you might have um, beads, pistachios, that's perfect, right? Each of these different fillings by themselves or mixed with something else are going to create their own sounds, okay? So I chose different kinds of beans and lentils. And we want to make sure to fill up, in general, you know, in general, I see that people fill up their maracas halfway, but I want to make sure, you know, 
that you really like the sound of your maraca. So slowly start adding pieces to the inside of your maraca. And after every try, just kind of shake it. Shake it around and see if you like the sound. If you do, perfect. You don't have to add any more, right? But if you want to try some more, go ahead. And then if, let's say you don't like it, you can just throw it back in your throw it back in your container. Okay. If we make spill, that's okay. We'll just connect collect it back. All right. So I think I like my sound already. And I didn't fill it up halfway. Let's see. Do you like yours, Camilo? Yeah? Good job. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, so now that I'm done filling, I like the sound of my maraca. I'm going to go ahead and close my container and just put it to the side. Make sure that it doesn't spill. Okay. Awesome, awesome job, Mariana. Now in this part, we're gonna keep our maraca standing up with the taps to the top. Okay. And we're actually, we're gonna grab our paper ball roll and place it right at the top. So right, if we shake it right now, it's gonna fall, it's gonna fall. So we want to tape it. And that's where these tabs are going to come in. We're gonna grab pieces of tape and we're gonna take one tab at a time to the paper ball. Okay, so I taped one. I taped two. three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have taped all the tabs to the paper roll. Now, if I shake my maraca, what? Nothing comes out. Good job, good job. Curl it around and you can see, right? Nothing of your feeling is gonna come out. Perfect, that means we did a good job. Okay, there's still some people catching up, no worries. Okay, basically now we have a really good maraca. All right, give me a thumbs up if you're ready for the next step. Good job. Okay, we're gonna wait a few seconds for everyone to finish, right? Taking everything together, closing up the maraca. But bring in your piece of foil and just have it in front of you. It's really shiny. Your piece of foil is going to be covering your paper, paper towel ball, right? Okay, so we have our piece of foil and we're going to place it right on top of the ball. Okay, and we're going to start going down, folding down, wrapping the whole ball with the paper foil. Okay, really, really easy. Now there's going to be some extra foil here at the bottom. 
That's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna cut that off in a bit, okay? Right now, worry about shaping the ball. Make sure that you're not squishing too hard so it to flatten this, right? We just wanna mold it. We wanna shape it, okay? Yeah, now you grab your scissors and you're gonna cut the edges of the foil right at the bottom that you don't really wanna keep there. And then again, you're gonna grab the bottom foil pieces and then just squish them, squish them together. Usually tape is really hard. Um, it's, re it's really difficult to tape down foil with tape. Um, but I found that just squishing the foil together, that's how we're able to just make sure for it to stay, stay in place, right? I added my foil. Look, it's not going to fall. I just kind of made sure to squish it together. Especially at the bottom, right? Make sure that there's no little loose ends. Okay. So here we go. Here we go. And then your extra pieces of foil, you can move to the side. So we have our maraca here. Awesome, good job. Okay, has everyone, has everyone wrapped their microphone ball? Send me a thumbs up. Perfect, Mariana, thank you. Okay. Freya, do you need any help? Awesome, thank you, Susan. Awesome, Van, uh, Camilo. All right, so we're gonna move to the next part, okay? Now, basically, as you can see, we, we already have a microphone maraca, right? It's all covered. The microphone is ready to go. Now we want to decorate it, right? We want to decorate it. So the first thing that I wanted to show you how to do is these pop-up flowers. Has anyone done any pop-up flowers like this? No? It, it can look a little bit hard, right? It can look a little difficult to do, right? But it's okay, I'm gonna show you quick steps, all right? We're gonna grab our red paper. Okay, does everyone have their red paper? Awesome, perfect, perfect, thank you. All right, our red paper, and we're gonna fold it in half one time. It doesn't matter which way, we're gonna fold it in half. Awesome, Freya. Go ahead and grab your red piece of paper and fold it in half one time. And then we're gonna fold it in half a second time. And we're gonna fold it in half a one last third time. Okay. Awesome, thank you, Camilo. So when we unfold it, we're gonna have eight rectangles, right? Eight squares. Awesome, good job, good job. Okay, and you can place it right on in front of you on a flat surface. Has everyone folded their piece of paper? All 
Okay. All right. Perfect. So the first step, so the first thing we need to know is that in every square, you can draw one flower. Right now we're going to start with one. Just with time, I want to make sure to show you how to do one per, uh, properly, and then you'll be able to practice it on your own. Okay. So in one square, we're going to draw a circle. Okay. That is not, that is almost going to hit the edges. So let me show you right here. I'm going to draw a circle. Okay. So just like this in one of your squares, draw a circle. Awesome. Good job. And then we're going to draw a spiral inside. Okay. In a very simple spiral. Okay, perfect, perfect, thank you. Awesome. Does everyone, awesome, thank you Freya. Did everyone make a spiral? On their, on, on their circle. Awesome, thank you. Now we're going to cut the circle, okay? We'll write the outside, we're going to cut. You can cut right on the line. It's okay if you miss a little. And you're gonna end up with the circle and the spiral inside. So just like this. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to cut the spiral. Perfect. Now we're going to cut this line, the spiral, okay? Awesome, thank you. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, if you separate, it's gonna look really cool, right? All right, thank you, Freya. Perfect. Okay. Good job, thank you. Camilo, you got it? Awesome, perfect. Okay, the next step, this is going to become a flower, okay? The next step is we're actually gonna be, let's see, on your flat surface, we're gonna turn it around so that we can't see the lines. When the flower pops up, I want to make sure that you don't see any lines here, all right? So make sure to flip your paper over, right? We're going to use it this way. And we are basically at the end of the spiral. So the little thin piece of tail, right? We're going to start folding and rolling it in. So maybe you want to see how I do it first. You can do it just by with your hands or you can do it with the pencil. Um, let me see. Okay, so right at the edge, you're gonna grab the little tail of your paper and you're gonna start rolling the paper around your pencil, okay? And just make sure to keep it tight right there so the paper doesn't, uh, starts cur uh, curling. So fold it, fold it, 
when you roll the paper around your pencil, it will look like this. Okay. Just like that. And then when I let it go, you're going to see how it's going to turn into a rolled rose. Does everyone see how it's a rose now? It's, it's really cool, huh? Okay. All right, you got it, Camilo? Yeah? All right, so again, I'm gonna show you how to do one more, right? You're gonna do your circle, you draw the spiral, and you're gonna cut all the lines. Right, we're gonna cut all the lines. Right, we're gonna have our spiral and then we're gonna, the tail of the spiral, that little edge, we're gonna roll it with a pencil, right? Just roll. Roll until you get to the circle of the spiral. And then you're gonna let it go and you're gonna have a bouncy little rose. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone um, need any help? Awesome, Mariana. Okay, Christina, Susan, awesome, Freya, awesome, good job. Okay, so Freya went ahead and started shaping her roses. Basically, the back of the rose, that little circle area in the middle of the spiral, that's where you can start taping the rose to, the, to your microphone. Right, so you see here, this rose is kind of dropping, but that's because I didn't roll it too in tight enough to, uh, for it to keep its structure. Let me see. This one's a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, and so now it's up to you how you decorate your microphone, all right? Again, you're able to make eight flowers with this red piece of paper. And you get to choose where you wanna tape them, right? The last thing, the last two things that I did decorating my microphone was I, with the black paper, I just added a little strip right at the top of the, of the ball, just to make sure that it looked a little bit more like a microphone. And then I added, a little cutout of like lipstick on lips, right? Some lips, some red lips. This was something that, you know, Selena was really famous for. After her show, she would get the lipstick all over the microphone. So I just thought it would be something fun, something cute. Okay. Does anyone need me to show them again how to do a, a rolled up rose? Okay. Let's see. Does everyone rose? Uh, has everyone's roses been coming out okay? All right. 
So again, right now we're in the last step of this craft. It's all about decorating your microphone. That looks beautiful, Camilo, right? Decorating it, awesome, right? You get to sing with it. You get to make music with it. If you have any more questions, please let us know. Um, but definitely, you know, thank you so much for having me and uh, hope you get to enjoy this craft. Yay! We can all unmute our mics and say thank you, Alejandra. That was wonderful, if you'd like to. Um, so, yes. Gracias. Thank you. Um, you guys can follow Alejandra on Instagram at A-L-E-I-M-A-N-A. And be sure to come back next Friday as we make paper flowers inspired by Sempasuchil flowers and hear about their significance um, on Dia de Muertos or Day of the Dead. Um, if you have any photos of your, of your Maraca mics, um, please tag Alejandra and the SF Public Library um, or use the hashtags. We'd love to reshare and repost. Um, so thank you so much. As Alejandra mentioned, I'll be sending out um, her, 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 her PDF um, for this activity um, shortly. So thank you so much.